Welcome to YoungHollywood.com. Hey there, I'm Larissa Wall, and we are catching up behind the scenes with the Far East movement. I got a fetish for these kicks, that fetish for these jeans, a fetish for my hoodie, gotta have it, I'm a bean. A fetish for these kicks, a fetish for these jeans, a fetish for my hoodie, a fetish, a fetish, a fetish. I read up about you, and something was said about fly music. Is that what, what? What is fly music? Fly is like the scene. It, 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 it's the scene that 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 it is Los Angeles right now. I'd say is Hollywood. The music scene. You got LMFAO. You got Pat and Div. You got you know numerous amounts of fresh artists that they care about the clothing. They care about the jewelry. They care about how they look. You guys are kind of multifaceted. You've done a lot of different things. We've hit a couple like little landmarks here and there. I guess for our first uh, really big thing, we had a song on the Fast and Furious 3 Tokyo Drift you know, on the video game. The sound track in the movie and we had a couple songs on Entourage. Talk to me a little bit about where the sound came from. We noticed that the energy of the club is starting to go faster, starting to rise, get more dance centric. So we thought, yo, let's do our performances around more high energy tracks like Daft Punk, DJ Testo, um, just Crookers, you know, anything like that. Girls on the dance floor, hit single, love it. What happened was we met up with these producers named The Stereotypes who did Danny Kane Damage, which is a high energy song. We got in the studio with them and within two hours, we made Girls on the Dance Floor. And that was, we said, this is the sound, this is the new sound for the Far East movement. What is that sound? How would you describe it? Party music, you know what I mean? It's this Hollywood lifestyle that we you know, leave, you know, live uh, at the clubs. It's what's up to all the DJs, you know what I mean? Just dancing, girls, drinking. Having a good time. Who would you like to collaborate with at some point? I'm gonna throw it out there and say Gwen Stefani. Gwen Stefani. Let me throw another one out there. How about MIA? What can someone expect coming to a performance? You expect a lot of energy, us giving it 120 percent, and um, a lot of fun. When you're up there and you see the crowd and you're hearing the music and you're just all into it, how do you feel? I mean, Jay Swift has told me, like, you know, this is behind the scenes. He said, dude, I've actually, been on stage makes me feel like an exotic dancer, and I've always wanted <laughs> to do that. So it's like, it ends up fulfilling dreams. <laughs> now I get to do it in front of a lot of people, because usually I give them a private show, because he's a freak like that, this, this guy right here. Now I can tell you guys get along well and have a great chemistry with you guys. How, have, how has that helped? We're all childhood buddies. I mean, we've all been friends since we were like 15 years old. And um, we've grown up together. We see each other every day. So you can't really hide anything. You don't need to hide anything. You don't got to mince your words. If you think something sucks, just tell them it sucks, you know? And, and having that, I think it makes everything slap fast, a lot easier. No one's trying to hide nothing from each other. Just have a good time. Yo, what up? We are FM, the Far East Movement, and you are now rocking with Young Hollywood. Keeping it fly, baby. Far East Movement on your dial. Girls on the dance floor.